Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. In this video, we'll study about auto pause delay option present in Azure SQL database. This auto pause delay option is present for the serverless compute tier. So let's first understand what a serverless compute tier. Serverless is a compute tier for single databases in Azure SQL database that automatically scales compute based on workload demand and bills for the amount of compute use per second. Okay, so it auto scales. That's why it is serverless. We are not provisioning beforehand. Serverless compute tier also automatically pauses the databases during inactive periods when only storage is built and automatically resumes databases when activity re returns. So this third line is for the auto pause delay option. Okay, so we have that option. If we enable that option, it will automatically pause the database if there is no activity happening over the database and for that period only the storage will be built and once the activity returns it will resume the database automatically. Serverless is price performance optimized for single databases where there is intermittent unpredictable usage pattern that can afford some delay in compute warm up after idle usage periods. Okay, If there is intermittent or unpredictable load then we can go for serverless okay and once it is inactive by the auto pause delay it will take some time to warm up if your database can afford that much of delay in warm up then it is fine okay for example if your database is accessed for four to five hours in a day and remains inactive for the rest of the time we can go for serverless database when this is paused, the compute cost is zero and only storage cost is incurred. Okay, so this is what we read before. Only storage is built, compute is not built. But you cannot pause and resume database manually. The Azure SQL will automatically do it for you. Okay, we cannot manually go and pause the database every time. There comes the role of auto pause delay option which is present for the serverless tier. But this model is quite expensive than the provision database model in terms of computing cost. If your database remains inactive only for a short period of time, you should use the provision model for creating a database. Okay, If your database has to be active for most of the time, then you should go for provision. If it is active for lesser duration, then serverless. Also, there is a time delay when the database is resumed after remaining in a pause state. So when it is paused, it will take some time to warm up and be back to the functioning state. Therefore, use this model only when the inactive time period is long enough and you can afford short delays. Okay, Compute cost is zero while the database is paused. However, we have to pay for the storage cost even if the database is in pause state. So this is the brief introduction about the serverless compute tier and how it is different from the provisioned compute tier along with the the use case for which we can use the serverless compute tier with the auto post delay option. So now let's go to the portal and we'll see how we can enable the auto post delay option while creating a SQL database and when the SQL database is already created and we want to modify or change the auto post delay option that also we will see here. Okay, so let's go to the portal. Let's create resource. Let's create Azure SQL database. So create SQL database. Here the subscription resource group is already selected. We'll give the test database name. Let's give it as test auto pause delay server name let's create a new server test auto was delay server we'll use a sql authentication give your user name password and then click ok so we have given the name for the database and the server. We don't want elastic pool workload environment. So this is for demo purpose. And as soon as we click on 
development, the compute and storage option will change to serverless. So click on development, general purpose, serverless. Okay. So we'll next go to the compute plus storage configure database. And since the service tier is general purpose, compute tier is serverless means compute resources are auto scaled build per second based on the V course used. Here we have the min and the max V course and further down we get this option auto pause delay. This is what we are going to demonstrate in this video. The database automatically pauses if it is inactive for the time period specified here and automatically resumes when database activity recurs. Alternatively, auto pausing can be disabled. Here we have this enable auto pause button. So if we don't want this enable auto pause option, then we can uncheck it. Okay. So it will be disabled if we enable it. Here we have the three different options, days, hours and minutes. If we click on days top down, we can see it starts from zero to seven means the maximum number of days are seven here. Okay. Seven days, we can click seven or if we click here zero, if we click zero here, the minimum number of hours should be selected as one. Okay. Minimum duration for auto pause delay is one hour and maximum is seven days. In between, we can set two hours, three hours as per our requirement. Okay. So we have configured this auto pause delay option for this test database as one hour. Okay. Would you like to make this zone redundant? No. Okay. So we have set. If you click on provision compute tier, if you go down, you cannot see this auto pause delay option because it's only present for the serverless where auto scaling is happening. Okay. And service tier should be general purpose. Now let's apply the changes. Now we'll go for the other settings. Connectivity method. Let's make it public endpoint for this demo. Firewall rules to yes, because this is just demo. Next, we'll go to security, enable Microsoft Defender. It's free trial. Next, go to the additional settings. Data source, we don't want the adventure works or the sample database. So let it be none. Go to the tags if you have any. Review and create is next. And then we'll click on create. So it is validating the configurations. The deployment is initiated, submitted and now in progress. Let's wait for it to complete. So the deployment is complete. Let's go to the resource. And the test auto pause delay database SQL database is ready. If we go to the overview section from the left panel, the first section overview, it will give you the details of the configuration. Okay. And on the right side, you can see server name, connection strings, pricing tier, auto pause delay. We set the auto pause delay as one hour. So it is showing one hour. Okay. So this is how when we create a new SQL database, we set the auto pause delay for the serverless compute tier. Now, let's say the database is already created and we want to change the auto pause delay. Okay. Let's say we want to make it from one hour to two hours. So we'll click on auto pause delay here. Okay. Just click over it. And we need to go down. Okay. So it is showing us the service tier, compute tier, min and max V course. If we go down, auto pause delay option will be shown and we have the option to change it or if we want to disable it, that also we can do. So let's say in this demo, we want it to be of two hours now. Okay. So we'll apply the changes. So scale database in progress. A scaling is happening. Shown scale database is in progress. It shows success. Now we can see auto pause delay as two hours. Okay. So this was a short video on the option auto pause delay in Azure SQL database for the serverless compute tier and general purpose service tier. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning. Bye.